Lots of people enjoy posting about 3D printing, but there is one thing that's for sure, and that is time lapses look horrible. Just look at it, it's a horrible blurry mess and you cannot tell what is happening. But there is a way to fix it, and guess what, of course you already guessed, it's 3D printable. The only thing that you will need is a cheap remote like this one from AliExpress for £2 for your camera. You can even get a Bluetooth one that will work with iPhones if that's what you want to use. But once you have that, you are good to print. Now you'll see how this will all come together in just a second. But basically the remote is going to slide in there and then we're going to mount this to the printer so the printer does all the work for us and takes the role of photographer. I'm going to be using my GH5 for this so I'll just give it a quick test to make sure it's working. And everything looks good. So all that's left to do now is to mount it to the actual printer. Which is a surprisingly simple process that involves taking out two screws and swapping it for our part that we've just printed. And then once I've quickly put those two screws back in, you'll be able to see how this thing functions. Basically, if you choose the time-lapse setting in Bamboo Labs, every time it prints a layer, it will then return to this home position where it is now on screen. And on its way back home, it should run into our camera shutter button, taking a photo. So all that's left to do now is to put the remote inside and then add the little bridging piece that's going to collide with that shutter button. But then I was able to throw in a quick print and double check that that extruder head ran into my button after every layer was printed. And it did. So when you take all those photos and add them together in editing software, this is what you end up with. And it's a much nicer product visually. I really like how this looks and I'm very happy with the results.